In industry, a similar reaction is carried out at high pressure and temperature in the presence of quaternary ammonium or phosphonium salts as a catalyst. The reaction of ethylene oxide with formaldehyde at 150 degrees centigrade temperature in the presence of catalyst leads to the formation of 1,3-dioxolane. Substituting formaldehyde by other aldehydes or ketones results in a 2-substituted 1,3-dioxolane which gives 85% in terms of catalyst, tetra, ethyl ammonial bromide and catalytic, and catalytic hydroformulation of ethylene oxide results in hydroxy and hydroxyl propanol and further in propane 1,3-diol. The reaction is CS2 CH2O plus CO plus H2, it gives CHO, CH2, CH2OH, which on further reaction in presence of acid or protons, it gives HO, CH2, CH2, CH2OH. Now, applications. Ethylene oxide is one of the most important raw materials used in the large scale chemical productions. Most Ethylene oxide is used for synthesis of ethylene glycols, including diethylene glycol and triethylene glycols that account for up to 75% of global consumption. Other important products including ethylene glycol ethers, ethanolamines and ethoxylates. Among glycols, ethylene glycols is used as antifreeze in the production of polyester and polyethylene terephthalate PET is the raw material for plastic bottles, liquid coolants and solvents. Polyethylene glycols are used in perfumes, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, lubricants paint thinners and plasticizers. Ethylene glycols, ethers are the part of brake fluids, detergents, solvents, lacquers and paints. Other product of ethylene oxide, ethanolamines are used in the manufacturing of soap and detergents and for the purification of natural gas. Ethoxylates are Whereas, ethoxylates are the richer products of ethylene oxide with higher alcohols, acids or amines. They are used in the manufacture of detergents, surfactants, emulsifiers and dispersants. Whereas, synthesis of ethylene glycol in the major application of ethylene oxide, its percentage varies greatly depending on the region from 44% in the Western Europe, 63% in the Japan and 73% in North America to 90% in the rest of the Asia and 99% in Africa.